Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let me ask, you guys must have materials that if you make bags are not enough, but it's too precious to throw them away. Well, I do have a lot of them, and I'm not going to waste it. Today I'm going to make small pouches for pencils, makeup essentials, or other small items. The pattern for this pouch has only 3 pieces, and you can get this pattern from the download link in the description section. The fabric I use is Cardura fabric, which I usually use to make backpacks, so I didn't add any interfacing. After cutting it, it turned out that this fabric scrap could produce 26 sets of pouches. That's a lot. Don't forget to prepare additional accessories. It's simple. You only need a zipper and 12 cm of webbing for the carrying handle. You may also want to add 3 mm of Eva sponge to support the base and make it stronger and more shape. Now let's start the sewing process. First, sew the zipper to panel B. Sew it in two rounds. First, sewing 2 mm from the edge, making sure all sides of the material are even and parallel. Next, sew again with 1 cm seam, or close to the zipper according to the width of the sewing foot. After that, turn the fabric over and do a top stage. Once you have finished one side, continue on the other side. After that, do the top stitching again. Here I have sewn the other part of the zipper. It is nice to sew a few pouches at once like this. It's more effective and efficient. It's even better if the lining is one color, so that we don't change the thread too often. The next step is to install the zipper puller and also the webbing. Put the webbing on the front part of the zipper. Don't do it wrong, or the pouch will easily open up and the stuff inside will be falling over when you hold the carrying handles. Zipper done. Next, sew the bottom part of the back. Sew the panel C to the end of the zipper. I use this method in most of my backpack tutorials. After sewing this, turn it over and make the top stitching. Leave one side open to insert the Eva sponge.
but before that, sew crosswise at a distance of 11.5 cm from the midpoint on the bottom part. The sewing is to make the Eva sponge stay in place. Insert the Eva sponge and sew the opening side. And finally, the gusset of the pouch is done. Before sewing the body of the pouch, attach the label first. After that, we will sew the exterior and lining fabrics together with the bed side of the fabrics facing each other. Now all the main parts of this pouch are ready. We're going to sew it all together. Before sewing, make the midpoint cut first. Then put all the midpoints together and pin them with a the clip. Also snip the transfer sewing that holds the Eva sponge in place for 8mm deep. Next, we will sew it slowly in two rounds. Snip the gusset on the round corner for 6mm deep. One side is finished, continue the other side with the same technique. After all of the sides are sewn, it is time to close the row seams with the bias tape. This time I used the bias tape maker like this. And this tool has to wear a short sewing foot that I made myself by cutting the end of the plastic foot with a cutter. This bias tape maker is only for sewing the ready-to-use or instant bias tape. I recommend using polypropylene bias tape like this. It's way easier to sew than sewing with cotton or thinner nylon bias tape.
The buy step has been shown, meaning that the entire process has been completed. Now we just need to turn the pouch over, and this is the result. Let's make it yourself at home. Even though it looks simple and less challenging, small items like this are the most popular commodities when participating in exhibition. Let's make a lot of them! And this is the last of the video today. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next new tutorials.